So it was the 26th of December and I was packing up my campsite in some miscellaneous corner of southwest Australia when I got a weather alert. A heatwave was about to wash over my hometown, 43 Celsius over Christmas, the kind of heat that'd burn your shadow into concrete. With the outside world uninhabitable, I decided to boot up an old racing game, Trackmania Canyon. This game is about skill points. You have tracks, you place times on those tracks, and those times are ranked against a global leaderboard that awards the all-important SP. The faster you run, the more points you get, and the higher your overall rank as a player. I've been playing on and off for years, and since my last break I'd fallen out of the top 200 worldwide, and so I set myself some goals over the heatwave. Get back into the exclusive top 200, land some top 50 times on hard tracks, and maybe even reach top 5 in Australia. Kept from me for years by some guy called Da Nang Boys Stoogy45. There's also some fella called Jerome who is ranked first in my home state of Western Australia. He just sits there on 15 million skill points with no colour to his name or italics or anything. He's just... He's just Jerome, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> he's, just, he's like an SCP. I'd probably have to aim for next Christmas to beat him, but I was ready for everything else. All I needed was some music, so I queued some Claude Debussy. Classical music has that effect of making everything prettier than it is. I felt like some exquisite race car monkey drifting to make it to my wedding on time. This should be the part that I crashed earlier. <laughs> Despite the beauty of Debussy's compositions, I only managed to move up two spots to 209th. I was already getting back into the groove though, that mental kick of getting good at something again. I couldn't wait for day two and all of the music I'd listen to. Yeah. Yeah. The world is so small till it ain't. I'm building up a wall till it break She hate it when I call and it's late I don't wanna keep you waiting I hope I never keep you waiting And that was it, I hit top 200 on day 2. Games like Canyon do weird things to your head. After enough drifts and hours, the driving becomes automatic and the experience almost introspective. The endless mountain to getting good, a kind of microcosm to enjoy away from everything. Just wavy lines in a glowing rectangle I gotta drive through faster than I did last time. I wouldn't have time to finally topple Da Nang Boy's Stoogie 45 or Jerome, but that was no longer the point. It was just for old time's sake.